Good afternoon everybody, how are we all doing? If you're new to this channel, my name is Kathy. I like to do videos on mental health, fibromyalgia and I like to do some shopping videos when I have the energy to go out and do some shopping. So here we go, today, I know I've already uploaded today but I thought this has just been on my mind for the past few days and I think, you know what, I don't think I've ever spoken about my medication before for my mental health. I do take quite a lot to be honest and some of it is for my fibromyalgia. Well, I'm getting recess for that because they might think it's MS. Anyway, that is for another video. So the main dose I have, and it's a high one, is for cotype for my mental health. Sorry if it's a bit dark for that close curtain because of the sun. So, over, uh, I've been on cotype now for over two, year, two years now, I think. And the reason why I started taking that because about 2020, my mental health deteriorated and I was hearing voices, hallucinations, and I just wasn't myself. Um, and the, it started off with a low dose, but it's gradually, within those two years, upped a little bit each time. Because I don't know about anybody else, but my body gets used to medication pretty quickly. Anyhow. So like I said, I've been on it for the past two years and cotypine is classed as an antipsychotic medication that helps with voice hearing and hallucinations. So, you're, yeah, and it has helped me. I have, I do sometimes stop taking it, but if I, if I, t I stop taking it, I go a bit crazy and yeah, I get, but... The downside, or the only downside I have about this cotyping is my weight gain. It makes you have an appetite and whatever I can eat. And then I start eating through the night and then I, I'm wondering why I'm so big. The good side to it really, it does help with the voice hearing and the hallucination and also sleep. And that is what they mainly gave it for was, some of it was the voice hearing but mainly for my sleep because if I don't take that, I do not get no sleep. In fact, I've been on this dose for some time now and I think, mm -mm, I don't really want to be getting any more. I don't know whether it can be increased anymore or I'll take some of my morning meds to give me to the nighttime meds. Because when I first started taking cotyopine, I was on a low dose. I'm not kidding you. I will. I was like a zombie. I was zoned out all the time, tired, sleeping all the time. I just literally could not function until my body got ready, okay with it. Oh, what's that word? I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing this with my hands. Anyhow, so I couldn't drive for a while. Um, however, I have stopped taking my morning medication because it makes me feel weird. And I think because I've not taken it for so long, that's probably why I feel weird. So on the morning, my doses are 200 cotyopine and tea, uh, not tea time, my night time medication, I take around half past eight, maybe nine o'clock, depending on what I'm doing, is 450. So you can imagine that makes you really drowsy. Yeah, I'm just giving myself a headache just thinking about it. Oh, so yeah, over the years it has helped me. Sorry, I'm just looking down here because I didn't make notes because otherwise I will forget and yeah, brain fog <laughs> or brain farts, I should say. Um, so the, the main reason really was that motorbike's doing me heading was for my, um, sorry I can't concentrate because it keeps going was mainly for sleep and the hallucinations, voice hearing, uh, not some, yeah, they, they were there, they were nothing compared to, now it's like, I know why I was hearing voices and it isn't for my mental health, it's actually something else. Um, and I know that because, I'll get into that in a bit, no, I'll get into it now because I forget. <laughs> so I always thought, oh, men, my voice hearing was to do with mental health, but, Obviously, I see a, a medium every couple of months just to get, you know, sage and cleanse and stuff like that. I was my wrist that just cracked a few crack, cracking noise. And she said, well, there's someone that 
have had a look at your picture and they know whether it's spirits came in contact with you or it is actually mental health and they, she said she came back and she said yeah it's not mental health it is actually spirits co contacting now if i say that to my cpn she'll be like straight come on straight jacket hospital you know what i mean so i never say out like that to to my cpn i'm going to go she don't watch this but she don't think she will she knows i do youtube mm -hmm. on mental health and stuff like that so yeah like i say the eye dose i have on a night is mainly just to get me off to sleep and at the minute i'm struggling to even get to sleep but if i take it and i stay up that little bit longer i hate that feeling of that drowsiness you know like oh god i don't feel very well even when i lay down but then my bladder has got an habit of going you need toilet no, you need a toilet now, 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 you know what I mean? And all oh, that motorbike is driving me nuts. Um, and if I don't get up to go to the toilet, it'll just get worse and worse. Um, and then when you're drowsy as well, and you try, I'm like trying to put my head off at bed, and I'm like, I need a wee, and I'm tripping over everything. Uh, you know, magically things are all on the floor, and you're tripping over yourself. Um, but yeah. Well before I started taking quetiapine, I have been on medication for God some time now, since I think I'm about 17. Um, and some of that medication now is antidepressants. And there's a certain antidepressants I take, which works well with fibro. They took me off of that when I went into my last hospital admission. And that's what the, the thing did it over to quetiapine. But... Deloxetine was one of my tablets that helped with my fibro and pain because it's a pain thing. So now I'm on amtretoline, but I'm not talking about that today. I just wanted to talk about quetiapine because I'm not kidding yet. Sorry, I'm just... My laptop's there. I've just been doing some research for my course and I'm not kidding you. That's not going, in, uh, that's not going to plan. So... And I've just looked on the university thing and you've got to fit into, I think you've got to do an health check as well. I'm like, oh, well, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping with this good typing now. I am, however, starting my diet on Monday, so I will start. I'm not looking forward to it, but it needs most because good typing makes you hungry and it makes you gain weight because obviously it's stuck in your face. And I, I've got a bit of getting up in the night and getting hungry. So yeah, let me see what else I've written down because otherwise I'm just going to... I've written two. So yeah, the hallucinations, I used to see things. Now, now the friend that taught, showed me how to do my readings said this is why. It wasn't anything to do with mental health, it was to spirits showing themselves. So I, I, I was scared of myself because obviously back then... I thought it was my mental health and I did not know what was going on because I was seeing people, I was hearing voices, they were telling me to do things, they were saying this, but some, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of just go out and kick some off the mob, <laughs> joking. So yeah, I uh, sometimes I do stop taking my medication and I do, my, I do notice when I don't do that, my moods are quite low. But then I do it because I don't want to be so big. Yeah, let me just see what I've written. But the positive side is I feel okay. I feel a bit mellowed out, chilled out. I'm okay. I know things that with life are challenging right now sometimes with, with where I live, family, challenges, things. Sometimes, yeah, oh, listen, where we're at today I was watching Britain's Got Talent. Sorry, but it's got talent and something came on and it were emotional. I thought, whoa, God, I had to stop myself from crying because I, I could feel lumping my face, uh, fr face, lumping my throat because it was just so emotional. But that's it, guys. I hope that could type in. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys take it, but it's, I mainly take it for sleep. And yeah, the voices are not to do with mental health, to do with something else. Because I do see a psychic 
and she as someone that knows whether it's your mental health and oh she knows it's spirits and I've got told it's the spirit side so that's not so bad I'm not going crazy so I will I have I need to see the doctor I saw the doctor not so psychiatrist doctor about two three weeks ago and I'm sick of seeing her and my CP and goes all right I want you to see the doctor again I'm like I've just seen her I don't need to see her continuously and yeah it's frustrating but I'm on an okay path at the minute I'm good doing things okay I'm even though sleep's always been an issue, it has been an issue since I was a young child. So I can't, it's never going to change. I've been told it's never going to change by my doctors. I just need to learn to live a better lifestyle. I'm like, what are you trying to say? <laughs> so my diet needs to change. And I think if I start drinking more water, will that help? Or if I do natural... Sorry. Natural medications i don't know i'm going to research it anyway but at the minute i try to research universities and courses and stuff like that entry requirements and i'm like do i just stick with physical health not mental health because mental health you've got four years of training i thought ah i'll be blooming 50 by then and i'm like that'll be a bit too late to start a new career or it I don't know. Anyway, that's a new video in itself. Thanks again for watching, and I hope this helped. If you are on your, your strong medication like myself, let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch up with you tonight at past seven on my live. I'll see you later, guys. See you later.